All right, good morning, everybody. Today we're going to look at key bindings. Another name for hotkeys. Here's a nice file, another good file by Tune 1000. The BGs. And the key bindings we're going to look at today are Control L that I set up for watching the lyrics. Lyric window. The second one is Control E, the events list. Control N. For the staff view. And Control P, which is the piano roll. These are all very useful and you want to be able to get to them quickly. Control F4 will shut the window down and get you back to the main screen. The other thing I wanted to mention was this bar right here that opens up into this view here. By double clicking, it sets it back to the center spot. So you can see all your track view here. These can be made smaller just by dragging those bars. They're made larger as well. So let's just kind of do a little bit of work on this file first. Like I said in the previous video, I'd like to start the song on bar three. So what we're going to do is just highlight all the tracks by double clicking on this number one here. Highlights all the tracks right from the beginning all the way to the end. And we'll take a look at that. So everything is highlighted. And we're going to come up to edit. And we're going to slide this track ahead. One measure. There it goes. We'll just open up this view again. So now the song will begin at bar 3. F7. Put in a marker. I'm sorry, F11. That's F11. And we're just going to unhighlight these tracks. We know by some of the numbers here, you start to get familiar with them. General MIDI goes from 0 to 128 in all of these instruments. So 33 is in the bass range. And that's acoustic bass, which is a pretty heavy bass if you're going to play this MIDI file live through a PA system. You'll find that this bass is really strong. So we're just going to shift it up to finger bass for now. Take a look at that. So the first thing we're going to do is look at this drum track. If you're performing live with MIDI files, the most important thing to remember is to get the drums properly mixed, proper volume, along with the bass. Always start there. Always have your bass, guitar, and your drums balanced. And then you can blend everything else in. I find it takes a little longer to uh, save the files if it's on an external hard drive. So there's the finger bass compared to the acoustic bass. So the very first thing we're going to take a look at with the key bindings to explore all of the events and all of the data that's inside of these tracks. We're going to go up to options and there is your men menu for key bindings which is just another form of a hotkey. 
So let's, let's just take a look at this window. These are the keys that you're going to set up. And the way I've set mine up, we all know the control C is save. Okay, so you don't mess with that one. Control E, I've used the E for events. So view event list. So when you choose an item like that, once you choose it, you choose a control E and view. And there's a number of things you can set up for, for hotkeys, but viewing everything is very important. So the event list, and then you click on bind. So if I unbind it, it's gone. Okay. So I go back to it. I choose it along with control E and I hit bind and you can see the connection being made. And then you say, okay. So we're going to take a look at this base track again. Control E, the events window. And if you're performing live, you don't want too much reverb on a bass guitar. So I usually get that back down, just to set, reset that back down to zero. And the chorus, you can put a little bit of chorus on it, that's fine. 12, 24. And these are the controller messages that you're going to become familiar with. All right, we're going to take a look at the same track again. We're going to say Control F4. Shut this window down. Now we're going to take a look at control N. And N stands for notes in my mind. And this is the bass guitar. It's got six. It's in the bass tre treble clef here. Or in the bass clef, however you want to say that. And we're going to go down to the bottom. We're going to set this up. There's our little window. Display tablature. And we're going to say bass guitar standard four string and this little guitar turns into a bass guitar and we are shown the tablature and I'll show you something interesting here you can choose what type of neck you want on that guitar we got a maple neck rosewood neck let's leave it a rosewood This is a great learning tool. If you're a bass player, you can learn all the bass parts on this song from this tablature. So control F4. If you want to see the staff view, right there, control N. And I've set that up using key bindings. Control N. View, staff view, right there. And you click bind, and that locks it in. That's a global setting, so that will happen for all of your songs that you're working on. Okay, now we're going to go to Control E, Control N. Control L doesn't refer to the bass track. That's strictly for the melody and the, and the lyrics. And Control P. So you can actually see the bass notes over here. Okay. And you can add bass notes, subtract them, make them longer, make them shorter, do anything you want to them. There's an E flat note, velocity of 92. Velocity is very important. We're going to cover that in another, another video. So control F4 to shut that window down. So what we've done, we've set up options, key bindings. We've got control E for the view event list. Okay. Control L 
for lyrics, Control N, N for notes for the staff view. Okay, and Control P for the piano roll. So those four key bindings, those four hotkeys are very important to have at your fingertips so you can delve in to these tracks and tidy them up and edit them and get them ready for your for yourself. We're going to take a look at the piano roll and the drums because that's very useful. I don't care for this verb kick so I like to highlight it, go up to edit, transpose it, move it up one line to the hybrid kick. Okay, and very important, we like to set up a click so we know when the song is beginning. I like to go to this quarter in a quarter note. It's set from before, and we're going to add. So when we're on stage and we're playing, we know when the song is going to begin. Control F4 to shut this window down. the very last thing we're going to look at. With Tune 1000 tracks, they always put the vocals on track 4. They were very consistent how they set up their tracks and they did a fantastic job of creating MIDI tracks. Got the synth. Okay, and Control L. This is the one we haven't checked yet. There's our lyric window. Okay. And we'll start the song off again. Another great learning tool. So I just opened up. You can have more than one window open. So you've got your main view here. You've got your lyrics window. You've got your main melody showing right here, the vocal track with the actual notes played on a guitar. Shown on a guitar, it's played on a synth. Well, this is quite impressive. So those are the key bindings for Cakewalk Pro Audio 9, which you memorize and you use every time when you're setting up a new track. General MIDI. Okay, that's Europa Man. Signing off.